Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for the next generation vectorizer contour trace. In this video, we will learn how to vectorize a logo sketched by hand on paper. Contour trace is a powerful vectorizer tool, so it is really good at converting a raster image into a vector image format, like an SVG or DXF. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, we open our already scanned image. Next, we'll jump to the blur operator. Because our image does not have complex contours, increasing blur intensity will produce a simpler, cleaner contour without sacrificing detail. We'll adjust the slider only so much to blur a few inaccuracies, but still, be able to see its shape clearly. We'll skip color exchange and move to the black-white operator. The black-white operator applies a binary filter and produces a monochromatic image. With the help of the slider, we can adjust the intensity of the shade that gets filtered as either black or white. We'll just slide it enough to keep the fish's eye visible. Now, we move straight to the Detect operator. Here, we'll first increase the line thickness so that we can see the contours clearly. Next, we'll use an approximation algorithm to simplify our contour. Currently, the detected contour has too many points, and we do not need this much detail. So, we will select KCOS and increase the simplify value until we do not lose any detail on the eye, which happens to be the smallest contour. Looks good so far. We will now move to the drawing operator to further clean up our extracted contour. Okay. Let's look at what needs to be cleaned up. The lines on the hexagon should be perfectly straight, and its edges should be perfectly sharp. Next, the shape of the icon is curved and has just two sharp edges. For the hexagon, we'll clean up the contour by deleting all the extra points. Then for the icon, we'll convert the contours to spline, which gives us a nice smooth icon. This looks good. We can now export the result as an SVG or DXF vector file. And just this easily, we have vectorized a sketched logo using Contour Trace. And here is the result after filling in the colors. Here, we have used a third-party software to fill in the colors, but this feature is soon coming to Contour Trace. That is all for this tutorial. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more such videos like this one.